and in the interviews also they will ask us what is the difference between job and position and uh, while creating the job how we will assign this job to the business units while creating the positions how will you assign these positions to the business unit that's how the questions they will be asking us the basic one is job is like a generic when we are hiring an employee we will choose a particular job and uh, position is basically specific specific uh, uh, responsibilities will take it as a position so for example uh, manager is the job and we can have sales manager production manager general manager like that we can have different managers right that's how will be defined jobs are mandatory we are supposed to implement the jobs uh, for every hcm implementation and positions are optional not mandatory okay so when we are working with an enterprise structure if we look at in our enterprise structure jobs will be assigned to the reference data set and reference data sets will be assigned to the business unit but positions are not like that positions will be directly assigned to the business unit that's why if we look at in our uh, task also when i open the job task system will ask us which reference data set you are going to assign this job okay now it is going to ask us see which reference data set you are going to assign this job it means through reference data set indirectly jobs and positions needs to be assigned to bu only but jobs will be assigned indirectly but positions will be assigned to the business unit directly this is a standard question they will ask in the interviews so why like that what is the reason behind that why reference data set is required for the jobs why reference data set is not required for the job for the positions okay so the simple reason here jobs are common for almost all the business units then we will use the business unit but positions are different from one business unit to another business unit. so whatever the business unit we are working we have to discuss with the client what are the different positions you have in this particular business unit that we have to configure so positions are different from one bu to another bu for example uh, if the business unit is a sales office then in the sales office positions are different if the business unit is uh, account payables office then that is going to be a different uh, positions but jobs are common that's why we will assign through reference data set to the bu so that it will be more flexible because uh, let's say you have 40 business units and your client is asking let's assign the manager job to all 40 business units if reference data set concept is not there then we have to create 40 times 40 times we have to create instead of that if the reference data set is there common reference data set we will use so that this particular job will be assigned for all the business units at a time that's the difference and advantage of the reference data set okay thank you